Hello, it's Sarah. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have a coughing attack. Anyway, I wanted to share with what you guys what I've been doing lately. And it's a little bit of everything. I did a, let's go right to, I went to the dollar store to get, um, what did I go, to, oh, for little stationary things. Because I have a new setup in, um, look at these scissors. Look how cute they are. I don't know, but they're like a dollar. So I got them. And I got Joe is Joe turned 60 on this on Christmas. So I got that. This actually looks like a nine. Probably just, anyway, got that. Um some highlighters. I already took them out of the packaging. But um I do a lot of reading and studying of um my program so I wanted to have different colors more of those crafters art palette art palettes because for making dots that you can't have enough of those it's a dollar and I got a sharpie this is an ultra fine sharpie and they're a dollar too so I think this was the most I ever spent at a dollar tree I think I spent 40 bucks um, and I got a lot more stuff but um, anyway but this was what I'm excited to share with you guys. This is acrylic paint. I, well this, this Dollar Tree is a little further away from me. It's like 20 minutes away, but it has, it's so good. It has everything and I can't wait because I don't know if I, I think I mentioned this. There's no paint in the, in the craft stores. Like even Walmart, I think after the pandemic hit, Everybody, all when we were on lockdown and stuff, everyone went and bought all the craft supplies out because their kids were home and stuff. It was over the summer. Um, so this is actually pure black, but it's a satin, okay? So when you do dotting, it's better to have a matte finish because then it won't, the background doesn't compete with the dots because the dots are, I tend to make them more metallic and stuff. So. This is a, just a flat black. It's called black. And it says premium ac acrylic paint, multi-purpose, so, and water-soluble. So I'm going to sample that for you in a sec. I'm going to do, do some base coating because I just, um, I painted all these. These are all painted, and I'll show you them, too. Hi, Jenners. We have the Glowforge going. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm going to show you what I, what I did. So um, I think I did about nine more. That was all that could fit. And this is the draft board again. This is just like an MDF material. Um, so um, I'm going to base coat these with that black, and I'll show you what it's like. I'll do it with you. You can do it along with me. I want to hide these-ish as if he doesn't know he's turning 60. Um, okay, so let me show you these real quick. So remember I did the tutorial for the Christmas um, colors. So it was red and green. And this was the one I actually did because I didn't like my center and I ended up dotting over it and dotting over it like it's a triple dot. But then I did more. And of course, every time I do another one, it turns out better. I am in love with these. See, look, I got a little fancy on the... Um, the top of the ornament but this one I just did basic just dots another one with those colors I think they look really traditional like I like this color scheme um oh, there's a little I might fill that in there's a little black mark there or I'll keep that one then of course I had to start changing up um, one of my husband's co-workers is a purple fan so I made a purple one for her and I absolutely love the way these look I'm just sticking with this pattern I'm not gonna you know and it's much easier than I can just crank them out a little bit better um, pink and green is always a good combo so I wanted to see what that looked like and then I used my um, Krylon gold leafing pen to just go around the edge you don't need to really I have to sign this one See, I just signed them, and that's why I got the Sharpies, too, because I just signed it with a Sharpie, um, my name and the date. I don't know if I'll put the date on all of them, because sometimes I like to leave it for the next year, and then I can put, when I give it to someone, I can put the, that year's date. Um, but that's the pink one. Another purple one with some yellow. Purple and yellow are, is such a nice combination. 
and Maya loves yellow so I went I made yellow a little bit more of the main color and I think I'll give this one to her and then I did that other style this was what I came up with it it was nuts this kind of looked like fireworks to me anyway um, I like it though and then I dotted the whole background with the satin oh uh, what is it called it's black metallic it's just black metallic I think or it could be like a charcoal metallic and then this one I just had the pink and green out so I just did pink and green it's okay like I I don't know I'm not really um, sure where to go when I when I start dotting I get very you know like there's gold here you can't even tell but I mean it is what it is it's fine and I'll play with that a little more so I want to do more of these because these look like to me anyway I get a very traditional vibe from these um, the trees are fantastic as well so I shared these as well and I did a tutorial for you guys of these I love the ones with the, uh, I love them. I love them all. So I was very lucky this year that I had a Glowforge, which is a laser printer, um, kind of like your Cricut or um, Silhouette, but it cuts wood. Um, lots of things. Anyway, and you can etch and do lots of things, but I was able to cut these shapes out for myself, and so that got me thinking. So I'm having lunch with some of my um, al -Anon buddies, and... I made this. This is the al -Anon symbol and let it begin with me is kind of our like slogan or saying before we start the meetings we kind of say a little um, the serenity prayer and this little mantra. So right now I don't know if you can hear the humming in the background but there's like a um, I have several more of these on there um, in a different wood because I just thought this was a little dark. I mean my son loves it but, so I mean, I don't know. I think it, it some people style, right? But I have, um, I don't have anything on my desk that is, oh, wait. Uh, I don't have it here. My wooden, um, no, I don't have it. Okay, anyway, it's called maple, so it's a much lighter wood, but it'll be the same exact thing. And it's a phone stand. So I can give that to them tomorrow at lunch as a Christmas gift I mean or just as a you know a thank you gift or whatever anyway because um, I like giving hand painted things as well but I think this is appropriate and then they can use it all year round so that's what I was thinking um, but that being said I wanted I had made this a while ago so this is another in the program we have slogans things that you can just bring to mind right away that'll help you out of a tight spot you know what I mean so this is an acronym it's think is it thoughtful is it honest is it intelligent is it necessary is it kind and if you remember this you're bound to not get yourself in trouble the way I can do sometimes so I made this myself and this is on we got this at um, Home Depot it's just dry erase this is dry erase board and this is chalkboard and you can buy it and so we had the young man cut it down for us and to the size we can fit in the Glowforge so I was playing around with it and it's not perfect and somehow my lines aren't even straight like they're a little bowed so we're gonna this is mine so I keep this on um, over by the phone and then this one I was gonna put in my room this is um slogans that are my favorites keep it simple how important is it let it begin with me this too shall pass let go and let god and live and let live and i just did it super simple i i have not learned um the the uh program that you use with glowforge the, you can actually use your silhouette and program you have to vectorize PDFs and things like that you have to make it so that the Glowforge can recognize it and um, we have um, it's called Inkspace and um, I haven't really done a lot on Inkspace but I can use the Glowforge um, workspace but it's basic like you can't really do a lot of tweaking now I could have changed the fonts on here and that would have really made a big difference but I was just playing around and this is what I came up with but look what we tweaked last night and we made it's the same thing the same sign same words I should say but we changed the fonts 
and then Joe had this little, um, you can go, you can get online and get little, um, what's it called, clip art and things like that. So I wanted little corners, like we could actually make them a little bigger, like I'm still tweaking. And um, then I just use one of my little stands and this sits up at my little altar. I have an altar where I journal. It has my little yoga frog with his chakra necklace on and just some things that I like, little um, stones, like I have a piece of jade and um, just little things. Um, I have one of my uh, polymer clay um, things that I made too. It's so pretty. So anyway, and like a bamboo, but uh, yeah, this just sits there so that I have those things to refer to. But look how pretty, like, like going like, God, I just think it looks so pretty. So we're going to work on this too. And I want to make another one of these for someone specific. But with it, with maybe change the font. I kind of like the font the way it is, but I want to make it square. And maybe we can add corners or something like that. So um, that is what I'm up to. Now, that being said... I was actually thinking I could put the slogans on an ornament and etch that in there, but maybe we would want to etch this a little. So it's, you know, and it's getting close to Christmas now. So I'm starting to panic a little bit. I don't want to, um, I think I have, and this is just for people that are in my life that I just want to give a little something, but it, it's not, you know, I don't have to. I don't have to, so it's no pressure. Um, but I'm just going to put a few of these out, and we're going to try the um, the dollar store paint. So let me come up. I just want to make sure. So I'm going to shake it real good. One of them shook better. It could be thick. It could be thin. It's not, it doesn't say medium body or, you know, because I was out of black. I'm so excited. Multi-purpose, that's all it says, and water-soluble. So let's see. Oh, Wow. Did you see? That is a nice consistency. I am excited. And I have been using this brush. This is called um, an oval wash brush. And this is the Joe Sonia from CD Wood. And it's a very cool brush. And supposedly you can't kill these, which I am known to kill a brush. But you can load it up. And this paint is gorgeous. There is nothing wrong with it. It's going on like butter. So score for a dollar. I mean, generally um, the regular brands, like this would have been around four to five dollars for that big of, but a regular bottle, it can be like a dollar eighty nine for just a that size. This is um how many ounces? I'm trying to see real quick. I don't think it says on here. I don't oh four fluid ounces. This is 15, oh, two fluid ounces. So double the amount of paint for a dollar. So if I'm smart, I would go back and get more, which I should. I got two. I don't know if that was enough. You know, because black and white, they didn't, um, damn, did I even look for white? Because I need white, too. Um, I actually got the Aileen's white, but look at that. Perfect. So I'm going to get all these base coated and then I can dot tonight. I got to go to the chiropractor and um, I don't, I can't bring everyone at the chiropractor an ornament. Like I just can't. I think I'm going to bring a card. But like, you know, sometimes you want to give it to your chiropractor or your, you know, the people that, my hairdresser and stuff like that. So, um, Sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. And it's that random act of kindness thing too. Sometimes it could just be a random stranger will get one of my lovely ornaments because, you know, I just feel like it. I feel like doing something special like that for someone that I don't even know and I don't expect anything in return. It just makes you feel good. And, um... I don't need to know whether they enjoy it or not. I mean, they can throw it away because it's the thought that counts. So, anywho, we're in this home stretch here. I think it's, what, the 15th today? So, 10 days till Christmas. Um, 
we have our lights on outside you know what I should do oh man you guys also I live in South Jersey some of us are going to be getting a nor'easter so those of you who are north of me and a little bit more west of me and then I think it's even going to head up way north um, to New England as well so Wednesday night so tonight it's going to start we're already getting drizzle but I don't think where I am in South Jersey we're getting snow I think it's going to be rain and sleet but some people are getting 10 inches third to 30 inches so it's a big storm um, yeah so that being said I don't know where I'm going I'm gonna have to hunker down so I'll be painting so hopefully I'll make some more videos for you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, uh, maybe I could hook something up like that. Um, but other than that, I know I'm going to be painting more of these because they're so fun. Oh, that's what I went to the dollar store too. I'm probably going to print out a big one of these. Like I just think I want to make it like a, a little bit more of a, um, like a diamond shape with a little top and bottom and then I'm gonna make uh, bigger dots see because I have these too see these big dotting tools these are big so I want to make big dots so I think I'll probably maybe I'll do that with you guys um, and it'll be like a wall hanging or something um, but I think that's it oh oh I was, I was saying about the lights Oh, that's what made me, yeah. So my husband does our Christmas lights on the outside of the house, and he does them to music, and we actually have, pix like, there's pixels. Like, there's TVs out there. They're not TVs, but they're, he made them, you know? Um, and so there can be cartoons going and all types of stuff. So um, I think I, I want to take some footage. It's just that the camera doesn't pick up the lights don't show in the camera the way they do with the naked eye. So I'm going to have to, you know, he has the new iPhone, which it has like three cameras on the back of it. And I don't know if that would make it better. Like the, I don't know, I'm going to ask him. Um, so I would like to share some of that, at least a, a song with you guys. Um, so that I could post. And it's been so fun because people are starting to know now, like, because I walk a lot in the neighborhood, and people are starting to know, like, if they, if they say, where do you live? I say, you know the house with the lights? And everyone knows that house because, and people have said, like, when they're, and I don't even know, you know, like, our neighbors, they're like, when my mom was sick, we used to drive by and just sit and watch your lights because you can tune your car's radio to... I think it's like 99.9 .9 or something like that and you go you can hear the music because he has speakers out there but we keep them really low and you can hear the music in your car I did it the other night like when I came home my radio must have just been tuned to it and it just went on automatically or something actually I when I went to FM because I listened to Cirrus but anyway it's just wonderful and I just give him so much credit because um I don't have the patience for that stuff, but that's why opposites attract. Anyway, um, so I think I will do my best to get some footage of that. And it might not look that good, but I'll still, but it just depends. That's why I said the weather. So that's supposed to pass. So yeah, by this weekend, I could definitely um, post something because I think it's supposed to be tonight and tomorrow. And then it'll stop the rain and the snow and it'll be gone. Um, and then I will, um, that's it. I did all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Cool beaners. Now, you can see the nap of the wood, like, um, it's MDF, so it's kind of like fuzzy almost. But when this is totally dry, I will just take some sandpaper, sand it off, and then I'll give a light coat um, of black again, and then they'll be ready to go. So, um, I really don't want to get paint all over my brand new scissors. They're a dollar. I can handle it. Um, anywho, so that's it, you guys. If you have a Dollar Tree, oh man, I'm going to cause a frenzy. 
but I need to go back and get more white, black. This is good paint. It's by Acrylology. Let's see where it says it's made. It doesn't say. Made in the USA. <gasps> so, OMG. I mean, this is good stuff. I'm pretty impressed. All right, you guys. What else? Um, that's it. And so I hopefully I will see you before the holidays. And I mean, maybe I could even do a live. So leave in the comments anything you want to say. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right? Thanks for watching.